the Egyptian civilization is finally here in rise of kingdoms. And today we are going to start over and see what the new player experience is like as Egypt what's going on guys cheers now my main account is 1317 days old and i have a highest power ever of 103 million but today that is going to change because we are going to start over that's right we're going to be creating a new character in the newest kingdom of 28 29 and we are going to start our egyptian journey so let's jump right into this matt look at those new loading screens do you like do you guys like this little this little border i put here it's a new egyptian theme here so this is the welcome screen for every single new character and what i think is really interesting is that they've actually put egypt as the default civilization meaning it is the first one that shows up here when you create a new account so a lot of new players are probably going to pick egypt just by default and i think that's really really interesting so let's go ahead and confirm that and we from a barren land engulfed in the flames of war our people eventually arrived here a new world full of hope and possibilities honestly this cutscene is really beautiful i feel like they've actually made it a lot nicer than when i first started the game okay uh but there's nothing that shows egypt here basically this is just showing like the dawn of man like the basically the stone ages okay so this has not changed at all it looks like there is no uh sort of special egyptian uh cut scene that we get to see and in fact that is uh what france or germany or britain something like that that's not even it's not even close okay and of course el cid is spain so yeah i i don't know we've got nothing changing here but that is fine and the cut scene is really good i'm not gonna lie it's a nice cut scene and then we switch over to you know the generic uh the generic new player base okay welcome governor as your counselor I will do my best to offer you assistance again this is the same new player uh, guide that we've always seen that we've always had I think they've changed her a little bit uh since since the game first came out but basically the same thing so let's go ahead and build our first farm here it takes two whole seconds absolutely ridiculous we're gonna collect our food and of course they come knocking on uh they come knocking on our door okay the hey hey yo let me in barbarians are destroying our uh, our little nearby village here okay so this is pretty much uh self-explanatory this is exactly what we would expect from a new from a new character okay this is this is not changed nothing so far looks any different at all and that's it they burn the village boys they burned the damn village okay so we need to train our own troops let's go ahead and do this we're going to train our warriors okay it takes three seconds apparently to build an army of like uh 20 20 soldiers or whatever the case might be so let's go ahead and upgrade our wall here bada bing bada boom we got to take two seconds to upgrade a gigantic stone wall apparently that's how long it takes even though it's freaking massive anyway let's go ahead and build our tavern here and we are going to see our first new commander in the game we're going to pop open that gold key and who comes out boom i'm the man of peace the newest epic commander in the game was a chancellor to the pharaoh jo joser dozer jo joser during the third dynasty of ancient egypt and was high priest of the sun god ra in heliopolis his status did not come as a result of noble birth he was born a commoner but rather as a result of his scholarship and wisdom which allowed him to rise through the ranks and become the pharaoh's right hand man and he looks pretty badass to be honest i like how he's looking here and boom there he is in the gold keys popping right out there i heard some barbarians have been stirring up some trouble why don't we take the initiative in all that with our might sick so we are going to fight our first war here as Egyptian commanders boom there he is boys we're running in there now he is an archer commander but we've got some uh we got some infantry behind him because why not right it doesn't even it, it doesn't even matter here in the early game we're just gonna pop off basically we're gonna dominate uh on the battlefield here and we could see Mark's woman coming from the bottom here she's running away from what appears to be another set of barbarians so this is the same sort of intro cinematic that we are used to nothing has changed so far other than the fact that we have a brand new commander at our disposal so let's go ahead and send our uh i mod up over here and boys we are going to we're going to pop off we are going to be uh, the kings basically so let's see what we can do here obviously we're going to destroy this this is all scripted basically okay there's no way to oh look at that skill popping off okay uh there's no way we could lose this basically all right these barbarian hordes always scatter at the first sign of resistance assemble the troops and return to the city let's go dude 
all right so we've got mark's woman she is uh she's garbage okay she's trash you basically can just ignore that you even got her uh, because it doesn't even matter now let's go ahead and see here we're gonna upgrade our city hall to level uh two that takes another two seconds boom that's insanity basically um so what do we see here uh appears our hard work has paid off and uh now we get to build our scout camp so our scout camp is going to help us clear the fog because if you guys don't know if you are a new player in the game uh the server has fog in it basically okay so we're gonna have to send out our single scout you only get one scout at the beginning of the game and boom look at this vast open world this is the thing that makes rise of kingdoms so unique and stand out amongst all of the other uh games that are just like it just like the, you know they're all city builders there's so many city builders on mobile uh and you know what makes rise of kingdoms really stand out is the fact that it's got that infinite zoom open world and open field fighting okay so what do we got to do here boys and girls let's take a look at the event so this is day one of the rise of kingdoms event we love to see that glory of battle this is how you're going to get the hidden lotus uh city skin there will be an opportunity uh to get this again later down the line with different events but this is primarily the one way to get it and honestly it's not a very good skin so if you're a new player and you really want this don't worry about it it's 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 pretty trash to be honest with you uh it's only good because it's the first skin that you can get and if you buy Minamoto then you've got a huge advantage in the beginning of the game damn Master Groot already at over two million power on the first day of the server being open now this is cool the hero's return event is something that's been in the game since the game came out uh but now we have and it's always been Cleopatra but that's actually interesting because it's very thematic okay this is no matter what civilization you pick it's going to be Cleopatra but I think it's going to be cool that for all the new players that are joining for Egypt they are going to see Cleopatra here and feel like uh they're, they're sort of immersed in that okay so that's kind of cool first mightiest governor event is still Julius Caesar which is hilarious guys do not compete in the first mightiest governor okay and here we are tap the door to begin your fantastic journey to Egypt so boom there it is we see the the hieroglyphics glowing gold absolutely incredible and let's see here the prologue the governor and Gilgamesh have arrived in Egypt in search of the secret to eternity they have found a great many answers during their travels okay let's see here what do we got for the prologue where time flows like sand Gilgamesh has come before me to bid farewell he has heard hell of a place where time flows like sand and wishes to seek eternity there all right there he is there's Gilgamesh in front of our city boys this is a brand new server and we have Gilgamesh here already somehow I've heard tell of a place that holds the secret of eternity they say that in this place time flows like sand I plan to discover the solution to eternity for myself so my man wants to live forever here okay Gilgamesh seems particularly attached to this are you still mourning the death of your friend or to fade away is a terrifying thought indeed I guess we get an, a little response here this is interactive okay we're gonna go with the second second option okay yes my vaults are filled with treasures countless warriors heed my command I am king of the great city of Uruk and yet I cannot disobey the will of the gods it is for this that my companion Enkidu lies dead Did I say that right if one such as he created by the goddess herself cannot ward off death what hope have I of finding eternity in my search I've climbed mountains plumbed great depths reached the garden of the gods and crossed the sea of death and yet I have gained nothing story sounds very interesting if you seek eternity why not seek it together yes come on Gilgamesh join my uh join my uh, my army here okay unhappy is the journey without company let's set off at once nice all right we got Gilgamesh boys he's gonna join us ladies and gentlemen the graphics are looking kind of good here to be honest with you okay so we've got act one here it says we came to Cleopatra's palace where she welcomed us and we spoke of eternity Cleopatra's beauty and wisdom are praised by thousands is that not the secret to eternity such was her belief so that's that's an interesting little philosophy there okay if you're praised by thousands of people perhaps you will live longer your legacy will live beyond your uh your lifespan okay so we have arrived at Cleopatra's palace to look upon this most beautiful queen I think it's interesting that this story is centering a little bit around Cleopatra who is one of the first commanders they've ever put in the game and they just put Thutmose the third in the game and yet here we are not focusing on him right now we're focusing on Cleopatra you who have traveled far I bid you welcome to my palace I am Gilgamesh King of Uruk King Gilgamesh I have heard this name before in poetry that has long endured what brings you here O King from another land I have heard that the solution to eternity lies here in this place 
where time flows like sand. Oh, most beautiful queen, what do you know of eternity? That which is eternal is a most precious thing indeed. Look upon my land of endless riches, my sumptuous palace. My vaults too are filled with treasure, yet treasure may be used up in palaces buried in sand. And my beauty is unmatched, more precious than any jewel. Okay, Cleopatra, okay, calm your ego down there for a second, okay? Rome's generals with all their might cannot resist my charm i don't know about that i surround the shit out of you in the open field just freaking popping off okay cleopatra turns to face the governor oh looking at me okay okay hey what's up cleopatra how are you hey do you not agree governor ah all treasure pales before your beauty exactly okay yet your enemy lies in wait how can you guarantee your safety exactly gilgamesh exactly they will slaughter each other in my name that which is eternal must endure forever your beauty is worthy of the goddess ishtar that none may deny yet all good looks must fade when that day comes how will you fare my beauty shall be praised by thousands like the reign of a great dynasty and yet i am curious to know what answer you seek rome's envoys will soon immortalize me in portraiture if it please you you may stay and look upon it she's like listen bitch okay I, I, I might get old but we're gonna basically put put me in a frame a picture frame and I'm gonna look beautiful and people are gonna just remember the pictures okay it's like you know it's like facetune and filters before facetune and filters or before phones even existed okay so the next act doesn't open for another hour that's when a reset happens so that's fine uh let's take a look here art through the ages during the event governors who upload their Egypt and rock themed creations so our community pages have a chance to win great rewards cool okay so that i don't really care about alliance quiz doesn't even start yet and then the sign in spoils boom there he is the boy okay thutmose the third day one we get two hours of speed ups nice dude okay so this is kind of cool stuff here all right you're basically guaranteed this legendary commander in the game as a new player whether or not you actually start the game uh as egypt you will be guaranteed him now what i think is interesting here is that new players will not see all of the legendary commanders that are available in rise of kingdoms they will only see the gold key commanders plus Butmos plus Lubu and then the other rarities they won't see any of the season two season three season of conquest commanders and I think that's really I mean I guess it makes sense because they want to keep it uh interesting and and keep it um you know simple for the new players who don't really understand even what they're doing yet they don't want to overwhelm them with like a hundred commanders all at once so that makes sense but let's go ahead and use a five minute speed up as the tutorial basically is requiring us to do that and let's see what we need to do let's go ahead and do what we have to do to get our uh, our wall up which means we're gonna have to wait uh, a minute or so that's fine let's let's go ahead and use our free chests here we'll see what we can get out of these gold uh the gold key here let's see what we get come on come on nothing good okay three sculptures of Herman nothing too great honestly Herman is not the he's not the way okay he is not the way we're gonna use our two day uh second builder queue because that is absolutely crucial in the early game if you guys didn't know that uh you definitely want to have two builder queues up at all times and after that um you can actually get to vip six and that will be the way that you can unlock one uh, where is it here uh permanently so there it is um it looks like the vip uh chests have not changed at these earlier levels here you're going to get minamoto for all of them let's go ahead and claim our free vip points for the day and let's see what uh what else we can do here so we basically um have the same sort of stuff going on in here nothing crazy we got the custom bundle that's interesting for new players um as far as the daily special offer goes oh it looks like you actually cannot switch this at the beginning of the game so you're stuck with Cao Cao at least if you are in the United States or most countries I think besides China now the first thing you want to do is join a powerful alliance okay that's going to be the way to go you're going to want to do that instantaneously because basically you are going to be uh getting some free alliance helps which is going to help you push through and uh and upgrade things a lot faster now what it's also going to do is clear up some of the fog on the map um because it's going to show you where most of your alliance is actually there so here we go we've got some markers going on here so i'm assuming these guys already know sort of what uh what to expect here so i don't know why they're showing me the, the leader city that makes no sense to me it looks like he's got a couple of different uh, accounts in here so that's pretty cool let's go ahead and ignore that we don't really care about that uh we can uh, there's no alliance territory so we'll just teleport wherever we wherever we find some space here 
um let's go ahead and uh hold and teleport and we'll go like right here why not boom there it is we immediately clear up a little bit of uh of the fog there which is nice we got we should probably rename ourselves okay so let's go with king let's go with pharaoh omniarch i'm pretty sure that's a, a pretty gets the point across right okay now we can't do a custom icon right now which is stupid you need to be a city hall level eight so until then we're gonna pick troll boy okay this is every freaking kingdom troll uses that ugly motherfucker. so let's go ahead and claim all this stuff here and uh we probably are done with whatever we were trying to build before so let's go ahead and upgrade our city hall boom there it is hopefully everybody is online to help us with that meanwhile we are going to build the rest of our um resource production buildings here and what else do we got we got the archery range excellent okay so let's go ahead and do that and uh what do, how many how many alliance helps can we even get at the beginning of the game i'm pretty sure we can only get oh we can get six okay cool so we'll wait until we get six that's going to be a nice little trick for you guys if you're a new player uh wait until you get the maximum number of helps before you start to speed things up okay so let's go ahead and do that and as long as we get a single help for these early buildings it's going to instantly finish them so as long as someone's online clicking the button we should be good okay we should be good to go let's go ahead and do that and boom and boom this is easy stuff here we are making tons of progress we're just getting free upgrades across the board basically because if someone's online just pressing the button okay which we love to see uh we could definitely speed this up already um so as far as buildings go we can do two five minute speed ups and then we've got perfect three minutes and we are entering a new age already let's freaking go all right so what do we got here we are in the bronze age of the egyptian civilization and the buildings are starting to take shape okay the buildings are starting to look a little bit different than uh than they might have otherwise okay so this is sort of what the city hall looks like as a bronze age uh egyptian civilization which i think is pretty cool let's go ahead and claim that and we're gonna have to upgrade that which means we have to upgrade the tavern so there we go and let's take a look at the tavern Ooh, we got nice little vines on top there it's looking like a cool place to hang out okay i feel like i would i feel like i would hang out at that tavern have a have a couple beers or something you know just chill just vibe out basically let's claim our vip zero exclusive rewards love that we are a zero vip we are not very important that's basically what that's saying so there we go um that gives us another free building queue which is nice and we should be sending out our scout basically that's what that's what i'm i'm understanding right now and we actually want to hold him there because we we don't want him to keep coming back that's just a waste of time he just wants to he just wants to hang out there we're going to upgrade the alliance city hall bada bing bada boom let's drop a quarry that quarry down uh the quarry is what's going to allow us to upgrade our tavern further which is what we're going to need to upgrade our wall and our uh, city hall further which is really the the name of the game here so let's go ahead and claim all of this stuff and what do we got here we've got the academy so the academy is uh for research purposes of course and we're, we're definitely going to need to do some research um Corey is going to be important so we'll get uh, the alliance help with that one and let's see here we always want to make sure that we're helping out the boys in the alliance okay that's very crucial um and uh because you know we're, we're basically relying on them so you know they can uh they can rely on us as well now the, the monument is also very important this is going to unlock the different chronicles as the uh kingdom or as the server progresses uh towards the center of the map with the lost temple and as these things progress as long as you're in a good alliance and you're active and participating every single day then you're going to be getting a ton of free goodies free rewards and guys these elite commander sculptures these ones that are universal you want to put all of them into into constants okay just put them all into constants that's a an easy peasy quick tip um easy breezy beautiful cover girl okay let's go ahead and see what we can get with our free golden or sorry silver key we're gonna get a silver key we got nothing special here mark's woman is trash okay let's go ahead and continue collecting the questicles and uh we're gonna try and see if we can complete our dailies in the next 30 minutes or so because reset is coming up boys we're gonna drop down the stable there it is dude and we're gonna take a look at the academy you want to focus on the uh, economic research first so if you're a new player absolutely start to do that um now what I want to do is let's see what is my city hall is for so I want to bring my barracks up to four and I, I want to bring my archery range up to four probably my cavalry range up to four as well so uh, or my stable I, I should use the I should use the actual term huh so let's go ahead and do that um we've got the hospital as well we're not really going to need that we've already got one so we're already we're already we're already big chilling with the hospital um we're definitely going to run out of space here in the um in the city so let's go ahead and remove some of these trees I actually really don't like these uh these maple trees I think they're very out of place and ugly and also definitely not something you would see in Egypt anyway so we're just going to get rid of that stuff let's go ahead and upgrade our stable to three and our archery range to three 
I think that's going to be a good strat right there we're going to get them all up to four and then we're going to start to train our troops um the thing about the the up uh, the buildings that train your units is that you can't actually upgrade them while they're training units that's why you want to sort of bring them up to you know a certain level and then you're good to go here we've got 37 minutes that's going to be a nice little training window where we don't have to like think about it for a little while and that's why i wanted to get them all up to four before i started doing those trainings so hopefully we can get another couple of alliance helps here and that's going to there we go boys and girls boom there we go okay now honestly at the beginning of the game you probably don't want to train in batches 150 if you're going to be online the whole time because uh you just want to start to collect those those units and and start to use them you know what I mean like training in batches of like 50 is probably a better strategy if you are like gonna be really grinding at the beginning of the game but we're not we're just gonna be chilling here so let's upgrade the storehouse because we're going to have to do that eventually anyway and we'll claim all this stuff bada bing bada boom we love that and what do we need in order to uh upgrade this Egyptian City Hall further okay let's take a look here uh level four hospital we can do that and we can do a level four uh tavern as well let's go ahead and pop that up and collect some of these quests now a lot of those quests you probably don't want to collect right away um honestly it's probably better to just leave them there because they they are giving me resources on the top here and that means that my city can be attacked here in the early game and they'll just get stolen right so these resources here if I don't claim them they just sit right there but once I claim them they can be stolen so keep that in mind um I don't plan on getting attacked because I am a a veteran player and I know what I'm doing and I'll absolutely crush anybody that decides to attack my uh my pharaoh account okay so but hey before then you, you probably uh, probably shouldn't mess around all right so let's go ahead and do that can we upgrade this yet level four hospital we still need to do that I keep forgetting okay and we need a level four wall so let's go, go and do that I don't know if we'll have enough helps to actually crush through that right away but we do want to get a level high a treasure level high that's very good for the early game okay we love the high high ranking treasures let's go ahead and open it and boom we get a universal epic commander sculpture some 200 action points we love that okay that's all very good stuff there i wonder if the creators of shrek know that they just literally stole donkey and use him for an item here like that's like let's be honest that's donkey right from Shrek like it obviously is donkey uh, how is that not like copyright in front I don't know I don't know I don't care whatever let's go ahead and see can we upgrade this yet no we gotta we gotta speed up the wall that's fine we'll just use a one minute speed up no big deal oh we got an hour to wait now for the city hall upgrade and that's a perfect time to start to upgrade some of our lower ranking buildings here like the storehouse and whatnot now one thing you're gonna notice is I have maximum AP which means I should start fighting barbarians okay so let's go ahead and hold our position and let's see what we can do here all right we've got enough units uh actually let's go ahead and do this one first we're gonna uh, we're gonna have our imanip over here pop off basically okay we're gonna have to pop off and uh it is what it is okay so basically um we don't have like any oh we do have some ways to upgrade him okay so what does this do okay for the early game Egypt probably is not the way to go I mean look at this oh we are getting dunked on basically that's a very cool animation I'm not gonna lie that's a very cool animation we did level up so what am I gonna do with my talent tree um we're gonna go right into the support tree we're just gonna go right up here to rejuvenate that's gonna be number one priority for us and uh we're gonna bring him back to the city we basically got um I mean we won that obviously but it, you know it didn't feel very good you know what I'm saying so let's go ahead and upgrade our farm we're gonna get our um quarry we're gonna need to get our quarry up in order to continue to upgrade the uh the tavern and the city hall and whatnot so we're gonna focus on that for now collect our wounded units and what do we got for the quests here we are going to claim all of this we got a little bit of daily quest completion there which is good you always want to make sure the dailies are done okay we don't really have any boosts I guess we'll use the eight hour food boost because why not okay why not let's see what we got going on up in here up in here y'all gonna make me lose my mind we do want the trading speed I guess but realistically we should probably focus on economy right now because we are at the very beginning of the game okay so we used a food boost item that's nice good stuff good stuff okay let's take a look in our alliance helps and see did we use all of our helps we did for our city hall five which means we can actually speed this up now if we want to which we do um but we don't want to go over so let's do you know you don't want to use your universals in the early game like I'm doing but again I'm a veteran I know exactly what I'm doing I'm I'm popping off basically um and so for me it's a little bit different okay so what do we want to do next um we don't care about the maple trees certainly we don't care about that we will drop the shop down just because it might mean, why not same thing with this lumber mill we love free lumber mills okay and uh we might as well drop the siege workshop just so we can start to 
build a little bit of siege up so we can start to gather stuff okay now if we take a look here the growth fund becomes available to us which is fine we don't really care about that we're not going to be making any purchases here on this account um we do need to uh, recruit somebody here with this free chest so let's go ahead and do that boom 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 get some free wood speed ups good stuff we love to see it now a couple things I want you guys to notice here we've got the onk on top of the hospitals here which is uh pretty cool stuff okay they've got a very nice little um touch for these Egyptian uh designs we've got the notice board obviously has some like hieroglyphics on it which I think is pretty cool the builder's hut obviously is themed but also has a little bit of palm trees there which I think is nice and also looking at the monument dude this thing is an obelisk it's literally an obelisk and no we're not talking about obelisk the tormentor although I do wish that that was the case because I mean Yu-Gi-Oh is sick okay let's just be let's just be real here the number one reason I'm just, I was excited for the Egyptian civilization is because I grew up on Yu-Gi-Oh okay and I want to Exodia obliterate everybody Exodia now looking at the shop it's actually a little boat I think that's actually really cool now this is really the VIP shop it's the only thing you'll really care about in here if you guys are a new player and you're wondering about that uh but even like the lumber mills all this stuff is is themed for Egypt which is pretty freaking sick okay look you even see what is that is that Cleo who, who is that is that is that like an, I think that's like Anubis or something right there perhaps Ra maybe did the Egyptians have windmills I have no idea oh and look here you can see the when you're building something like the Alliance Center you can see the the lift with the stones and stuff that must be how they built the pyramids and man just look at the designs behind Thutmos and uh did they change the background they changed the background for Cleopatra Cleopatra used to have the same background as Julius Caesar and I always thought that was a little bit odd because they had like this background the one that you see for Barca there's already like pyramids back there it's right here like you can already see pyramids so like I always thought they should have used this one for for Cleopatra but this new one for Egypt is so sick I mean look at that massive pyramid in the background you've got the fire you've got the two sphinx on the on the right and the, the left side here and the right side and they've got obviously the Nile River here with the palm trees oh my god dude it looks so good the water's splashing up against wherever she's standing right now whatever this palace is dude it looks so good man it looks so good all right that's pretty much gonna do it for this video I just wanted to sort of test out and see if anything was really different when you start the game as Egypt most of it looks to be exactly the same except we have this land of deserts uh event going on right now on top of the fact that you get the epic commander and these early game buildings start to take some Egyptian theme pretty early on at uh at, at the bronze age really at, at level four right which is pretty awesome stuff so you really can if you want to like sort of role play as Egypt you can really start to immerse yourself into that uh civilization I think that's really cool that's probably a way that some people um play the game that a lot of us maybe content creators don't really think about right we don't we always think about min maxing and what's the best thing but a lot of people play rise of kingdoms just to build up a city of a civilization in ancient history that they think is cool and I think Egypt is going to be one that a lot of people do choose especially because like I said it is now the default so I think we're gonna see a lot of Egyptian uh civs coming very soon for these new players anyway guys if you're new here uh, I've been making rise of kingdoms content for uh, like over two years now I just made a new beginner's guide so if there's anything that you guys want to learn go ahead and check it out on my channel of course subscribe if you're new here and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below any questions you have about the Egyptian civilization or anything that a new player might be wondering and I'll try to answer everybody down there go ahead and drop a thumbs up on the video it helps the channel out a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace